Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abum. We are back with Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stawa Bucharest. And we are well underway in the playoff group, uh, the promotion playoff group. After six matches, we're in fourth place. As you can see, it's very, very close with three points separating the top five. Mia Veni falling behind a little bit on 37 points, uh, but a lot to go through. I played six matches. Uh, I was intending on doing the most recent game on camera. And I recorded it. Well, I thought I did, um, but I played it and I didn't actually hit record on OBS. So we've had to scrap that one, which is a shame because it was a good match. Uh, so today we're facing Polytechnica Yashi, who are uh, two points ahead of us. And then next episode, we'll have uh, the final three games in a bumper triple live com. That's what we're going to do for these final four games. So yeah, next episode is going to be a long one. But today against Yashi, hopefully we can get a result. We're at home as well. So hopefully we'll get something... And we'll be, you know, in the conversation for those automatic promotion spots. We're going to really give it a shot. If you're enjoying the series, do drop a like down below and leave comments because they really, really help the channel. Um, and it gets seen a lot more because it really helps the algorithm. If you haven't done so already or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications. As of recording this, we are five subscribers away from 900. So if you could help me get to that, that would be brilliant. If five people watch this video and subscribe, we're at 900. And that brings us ever so closer to that magic 1000, which I'd really like to get in the not too distant future. So going back to last episode, uh, we played two matches to end off the main part of the season. Uh, we lost at home to uh, Universitaria Krajowa, which was a shame because it was pretty disappointing. Uh, we did then win 2-0 against the Oshilok Galachi, though. So that put us through to the promotion playoff group. We managed to get into the top six. We were in fifth place, which gave us 10 more matches against the other five teams in the top six. We keep all of our points and the top two get automatic promotion to the first division. Third and fourth go into a playoff uh, with the uh, third and fourth bottom sides from the first division. So we've played six of those 10 matches. First up was a 2-1 win at home against Argish. Not a bad performance. We got the win. Um, you know, not bad with the finishing. Two goals to their one. Their XG was slightly higher. So we did you know, quite well defensively. We went behind on 19 minutes. Malele scoring a goal for them. We had the ball in the net to equalise just before half time, but it was disallowed. But we did equalise just after the hour with Pasronel scoring. We got the winner in the 93rd minute. And it was Nagoyscu, the 18-year-old winger on loan, getting the winning goal. When Argus almost equalised again, had the ball in the net after that, deep in a stoppage time, but that was disallowed. Uh, then we had a really disappointing performance. We lost 2-1 away against our opponents today, Polytechnica Yashi. Uh, really poor in this one. Yashi was a much better team and we barely threatened their goal. Three shots, one on target. Just not a good day for us here. Uh, we went ahead. Ispas gifted a goal as the goalkeeper spilled it. Um, it's the only way we managed to score in this game is them giving us a goal pretty much. Uh, they equalised just before half-time. Xinxian with the goal there. And then we gave away a penalty after the hour. Kalkin converting that to give Yashi the winner. Following on from that defeat, we drew 1-1 at home against Universitatia Cluj. Uh, pretty close game here. Again, XG for us was slightly higher. The possession was as well, uh, but had to settle for just a point. Uh, we went behind on the hour. Balai with a goal for them to make it 1-0. And about 10 minutes later, we equalised Ispas with another goal. And he's uh, well into double figures now, Ispas again. I think he's got 11 or 12 for the season. So good to see him scoring some goals. We do need to sign a striker in the new transfer window because uh, we have had our striker, Jele, recalled from FCSB. And uh, also, Chipoli, who's not nearly good enough for us anymore. Um, injuries have really hampered his career. So Ispas is going to need a bit of cover in the upcoming transfer window. After the draw against Cluj, it was a great performance away against uh, Universitat Craiova. 3-2 away from home, the team that beat us at Stower Stadium towards the end of the season. And we managed to get our win back over them. A bit of retribution there. Uh, we were behind, though. Negru with a goal on 24 minutes. About 10 minutes later, we equalised Malayele uh, with another goal. He's got three or four this season. Been, you know, a really good player, the 18-year-old. And has had his loan extended for next season as well. So he will be with us for season three. Uh, we went behind again not long after that. Pai Bara, who scored against us in the uh, other game as well, uh, to make it 2-1. But we did then equalise almost immediately. Ispas with another goal. And just after that hour, we won a penalty and it was converted by Rajari for his fifth goal of the season to give us the win, three goals to two. Then we had a bit of a drab match against Miaveni, the um, stragglers in the playoff group. They're in bottom place with 37 points. I think they're about seven or eight points off the rest of the pack. Uh, we might have deserved a win here. We were a little bit disappointing with our chance conversion. 
and creation really i'm not sure how much of this was actually decent chances in fact let's see yeah we hit the woodwork once so we could have scored a goal we didn't so we had to settle for just a point there and then we move on to the away game against the fc argus as i said i would have played this one on camera this would have been the video you'd be seeing today but unfortunately i didn't hit record on obs so We've lost a 3-3. I had reactions to this and everything. And uh, they're gone because I didn't actually record the game. You can see my face. You can hear me. You just can't see the game. So that's no good. So we've had to go on to the next match, which is a shame because this was a six-goal thriller. We led three times in this match. We were pegged back three times and maybe should have won because we had the woodwork as well. It was a disappointing one. Eli converted a penalty, which we gave away. Uh, Barbu in the 81st minute. We cleared the ball uh, with a long ball immediately to one of their players you've volleyed it back into our 18 yard box so yeah we kind of beat ourselves here we didn't lose but we could have won i guess arguably should have done as well they had three xg 3.11 xg which they managed to score ours was 0.86 we scored three goals so yeah um not sure how i feel about this one it's a decent draw away from home uh, but the fact that it's not going to be on camera is a bit gutting for me so we've got four games to go in this playoff group. We've got Polytechnica Yashi today. And then, as mentioned, next episode, we're going to have a bumper triple live com of Clues, Crayova, and Miaveni, all three on camera. Might trim it down a little bit more just to try and make the video, you know, a, a, a decent length. I don't want it being like half an hour long. Um, but yeah, hopefully, uh, after these four games, we will be, you know, still in with a shout of promotion or maybe even automatically promoted. Top four is what we want. So hopefully we can get it. One other thing that's happened off camera is we had our youth intake, which was okay. It was pretty good. Sebastian Panduru was the, um, well, maybe one of the best players that came in for us. Four and a half star potential ability, uh, 15 years old, uh, good fitness and good stamina, decision making and teamwork are okay. Yeah, one of the best prospects that we got in our youth intake. So on we go then to the match. Um, unfortunately, Zaharia, uh, we're going to be saying goodbye to him. He broke his leg. Uh, and was going to be up for a number of months and he's also at a contract at the end of the season so Zaharia is going to be leaving us this is the team that got the 3-3 draw against Dargis I don't think it really needs changing so I think we'll leave it as it is okay I've gone for the media team talk which has been pretty good and it's a motivating team talk as well that's not bad hopefully it can lead to a good performance here we were really good against Dargis got a draw 3-3 Let's see if we can build on that and get a good result here against uh, Yashi. We'll be disappointing against them away from home. Hopefully we can get a win back here. If this ends like 0-0, I'm going to be furious because I recorded a 3-3. Unfortunately, I didn't record the game. If this ends with zero goals, I'm going to feel robbed. Yeah, half time. Nothing has happened. So <laughs> let's just go into the second half. I can't believe this. 67 minutes. We still haven't had a highlight in this game. Here's one. It's a corner for them, which I don't really want to see. It's Pope and it's uh, wide. First highlight of the game in 70 minutes. 75 minutes. That's the only thing we've seen so far. Tudor's going to come off. Going to make a change. We're going to push up Vidrariu. And we're going to bring on Ilie. Also going to replace Pasho now. And bring on Maximovic, who was rested last time. Uh, Vidrariu has now been injured. That's not good. Our first choice left back is now out. That is really, really annoying. There was one highlight in that whole game. I feel robbed. I feel absolutely robbed. <laughs> I had a 3 all, And I didn't record the game. And I play the next one and it's a nil-nil with one highlight. Right, do you know what? Seeing as that was so drab, we're going to play the next one. And then there will not be a triple live come next episode. There'll be a double one instead. Because I'm not having a nil-nil be the only match of this video. That's not fair on you or me. So, with seven games played, uh, we're still in fourth. Uh, we are ahead of Crayova. But Argish uh, looks like they may have won their game. They did. So, they go up to second place. Uh, Yashi stay two points ahead of us. Cluj on 51 points now. So they're starting to pull away a bit. They're now five points ahead of us. So they pull away a little bit with that. Hopefully we can get something against Cluj away from home. It's going to be tough. But if we can do that, then we'll give ourselves a really good chance. If we don't, we're relying on Argish, Yashi and Cluj to drop points in their other games as we face the teams below us. We need to do our job, but we're also going to need other teams to drop points if we want a chance of automatic promotion. All right, we're going to try and get Vidrario through this match. Not gonna, He's not going to like it, but he's going to have to live with it. We're going to replace Kostash with Maximovic. We're going to stand off a little bit, just a slightly less urgent pressing. Going to regroup when we uh, lose possession. We are underdogs here, away against Cluj, who are you know at the top. So this is going to be a tough one. But let's see what we can do. Free kick, 15th minute. 
And it's a pass from L, and it's a goal. No, it's not. It's not going to count. We have the ball in the net, but it's been called back, disallowed. We'll have a look. We'll see if this was uh, disallowed or not. If it was, that is very, very close. I think he may just be offside. But that is extremely tight. Better with a throw. We are actually having some some highlights in this game, and they're going our way as well, which is more than I can say for the previous game. There was one highlight, and it wasn't for us. And that's a ball for Ispas, and he's completely dunked the goalkeeper. Dunked, duped the goalkeeper. Ispas with his 14th for the season, and it's a 1-0 lead away from home. About midway through the first half. Uh, this is the second time the ball has been in the net. Pashanel's goal was disallowed. No doubt about this one. The Malayele with the ball. Yashi, just the keeper was just completely wrong-footed. And Ispas puts it in the goal. A couple of minutes after that, it's a throw for Cluj. Here's Sergio. And Stefanescu's going to get to that. And it's um, it's a pretty swift reply for Cluj. 1-1. One, one, two and a bit minutes after that goal. Stefanescu with his seventh of the season for them. It's an immediate equaliser. This may well be another high-scoring game. But look at this again. Stefanescu gets there first. Not re not any real sort of pressure from uh, the defender there. But we've been the better team in this first half. We've had some chances. We've got possession. Let's make sure that we use it. Remaining minutes of the first half here. Missed header there. His Belay to Voda. And, well, an attempted tackle there that hasn't come through. And a header wide. Half time, we can be pleased with that performance so far. We've been the better team, I think. Mikash to Stefanescu. I think we might be a little bit too narrow here. Let's go back to standard width. As Stefanescu is uh, on this left channel here. Here's Philip. Stefanescu gets it back and don't let him cross it. He's let it cross it and Belay has put it in and Clues take a 2-1 lead at home. Belay, who I think has scored against us in the uh, reverse fixture in this playoffs, has scored again. 49 minutes, we're behind, it's 2-1. I say we, we've played well. Just, yeah, I might. we were a bit bit too narrow there off the possession. I should have had that a bit... Um, a bit wider, that's my fault. Hopefully we can equalise nice and quickly here. Here's Pashonel. And attempted cross is blocked by Stefanescu. Here's Brisanovic to Wallace, the captain. Or the vice-captain, but Kalanchari is not playing, so he is the captain. Here's Becha to Nagoyscu, who's taken it past the left-back here. Can he put a cross in here? He can. It's Malayale, it's Tudor. It's Cispas, it's a blocked shot, and it's a clearance by Philip. That was a good chance there. It was an offside, though, so nothing would have counted. Becha goes all the way back to Stefan Musha. Here's Brasanovic. Tudor. Malayale. Got options either side of him. He's gone to Ispas. Great control and a great goal. 2-2, 53 minutes. That was a nice piece of football. And it's 15 for the season for Jono Aspas. Great through ball. And great control by Ispas to get it away from his feet and place it into the goal. Really nice. Really pleased with our performance in this game. I think we deserve at least a point here. As it stands, we're still in fourth place with a point ahead of Kreova. 69th minute of the match here. Stefanescu to Murishan. Belay with a header. It's over. Uh, should look at maybe making our first change sometime soon. Pashanel's not really offered too much today. Going to bring on Kostash in between the midfield pair. So make it a threesome in midfield. Hopefully we can... Uh, Get a win here. Tudor. Malayale. This could be a chance to do so here. Vidrari has come forward. Got lots of time and space to put a cross in there. He's done well today. You know, he's on injections to get through the match. He hasn't been too bad so far. Maximovic. Oh, it's off the woodwork and it's in by Tudor. We lead. It's 3-2. I thought Maximovic was having a long-range goal there. He hasn't scored since his debut. Well, he scored four. But Shine Tudor has potentially won it for us here. 3-2 away from home. This makes up for us not recording the uh, the uh, the uh, Argus game. That was 3-3. Three, three. This may be 3-3. Three, three. But hopefully, we don't concede another equaliser. 3-2, we lead. Okay, Nagoyscu is going to come off. We're going to move Tudor to the right-hand side. We're going to push up Vajrayu again and bring on Adrian Ilie. And I'm going to go defensive with 10 minutes to go. There's only been two shots on target for Clues. They've been their goals. But other than those goals, they haven't offered too much. And we've been the better team in this game. And I think we deserve the three points here. Hopefully we can get them. Here's Ilie to Vidrari. Kostash. Tudor. Lots of space here. We've got lots of space. Betcha. 
Again, they've gone a bit narrow, and we seem to be, you know, really dominating these wide areas into the middle now for Kostash. His Ispas. And Vidrari. This could be four. Oh, good save. Ilie to Maleele. Kostash. Cross. Tudor. It is four. Slime Tudor with another goal. His second of the match. And that's 4-2. And that is surely game over now. A fantastic performance away from home against the leaders. And this may be a good chance for us to get automatic promotion. I'm not sure how the other teams are doing with the scores. But this surely must be a big, big performance and a massive win. Let's have a look at the table. We're up to second. We are up to second. As it stands, I know we just dropped to third. <laughs> so yeah i was about to say as it stands we'd be automatically promoted but no we've just dropped to third because i think yashi have just uh gone in front but full time clues two stow at four and that is a massive massive win and a deserved win i think as well we were better than them in that game we are three points ahead of Crowover. i think we still have to face them but we have a three two win away from home so unless we lose at home uh by more than a goal i don't think they can overtake us me of any are, are too far gone. They can't uh, get promoted anymore. So yeah, that that may be enough for us to get at least a playoff. We'll have to wait and see. But with two games to go against, I think, Crayova and uh, Me of any, there's a chance for us to get automatic promotion. We're only two points off of Yashi and Cluj. It's going to be very, very close. That makes up for the goalless draw and almost makes up for us not recording the 3-3. Really, really impressed. So next episode... Final two games, Cryover and Miaveni, who are fifth and sixth. They're both at home. I think on paper, we can win both of them. And if Yashi and Cluj drop points, that may well open the door for us to get that automatic promotion spot. It's very, very, very close. There's only two points between uh, first and us in third. So anything could happen in those final two games. We need to make sure that we do our job and see if they drop some points. We could be getting back-to-back -back promotions next episode, but you'll have to tune in to find out. If you have enjoyed today's video, drop a like down below, leave comments. If you haven't done so already, or if you're new, do subscribe and turn on notifications, as I said at the start. We are just five away from 900, so if five people watch this video and subscribe, that will get us there, and that will get us closer to 1,000. So yeah, next episode, we'll have the final two games of the playoff group. And then after that, we will see if we have got promotion or if we've got to go through another couple of uh, playoff matches. Uh, so there may well be a little bit left to go with the season yet, but we'll wait and see you next time. For now, thank you for watching and I will see you soon. Goodbye.